Sounds on 29th would like to thank Hold Please Productions for their support. Thank you so much. It's so nice to be here. Thank you, uh, Colorado Public Television and uh, Sounds on 29th. It's nice to be home. I uh, travel a lot in my job, and uh, when you're from Denver and you travel anymore, you get the question, right? You get, hey, weed's legal, <laughs> but, you're s but you're smoking a lot of pot. Are you smoking a lot of pot? Don't be ridiculous. I'm too old to smoke pot. I eat it. I eat my pot, <laughs> and it's a much better delivery system, so much easier to travel with, I can't tell you. <laughs> Uh, at the TSA, I'm just the nice lady with all the ginger snaps, you know? <laughs> I, which you can share, I found out recently, because by the time it hits them, you're halfway to Chicago. They, <laughs> you're, you're perfectly safe to do that. I, um, I had a busy day today. I started my day at the grocery store, which uh, I do the self-checkout. Do you like the self-checkout? I like it. I do, because I steal stuff. That's why I like it. <laughs> I steal something every time I self-checkout. I figure, you know, if I'm doing the work, I'm going to go ahead and compensate myself, you know? <laughs> What are they going to do, stop me at the door? <laughs> hey, lady, you didn't ring that up. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm new here. <laughs> oh, and here's a tip for me to you. Uh, at the self-checkout, everything's bananas. <laughs> yeah. I got, I got Thanksgiving dinner for 12 people for $17.32. <laughs> you know, and you know, I'm not going to get in trouble. I'll tell you why, because I'm a middle-aged white woman. Right. <laughs> Nobody, nobody suspects me of anything. I'm disappearing before your very eyes, as a matter of fact. <laughs> I have a statistical chance of 3% of being pulled over by the police for anything at all. I know. I don't know what I could. I could be driving down the road, high on PCP, you know, shooting a gun out of the sunroof. And I, I, think, I think a cop would probably pull me over and say, excuse me, ma'am, are you all right? <laughs> no, yeah, I'm fine, officer. Here, have a ginger snap. <sighs> Anyway, so uh, I went to a wedding yesterday, which was fun. I love to go to a wedding. I don't like to be in them. My being but when wedding days is over. Have you ever had to be in a wedding where you just were dreading it because you knew the couple was doomed? Have you ever had? <laughs> yeah, the last, my last wedding was like that, actually. I bought the dress, smiled in all the pictures. I had to be in that wedding, though, because it was mine. <laughs> and uh, that's an old joke. I'm actually, I've been married a very long time. I've been married over 20 years, which is a long time. Uh, yes, thank you. Yes, you can clap for that. Uh, here's the secret, don't get divorced. That's it, that's the secret to a long marriage. You'll, when you want to, and you will, just don't do it. Um, I love my husband, I do. I am, I'm at an age though where I travel with my girlfriends. I like that better now because it finally occurred to me after 20 years of marriage that when I ask my husband what he's thinking and he says nothing, he is not lying to me. <laughs> I don't say that, I don't say that as a put down. I say that with an amount of envy I can almost not describe. What's that like to think? It must be blissful. Not My head's a pinball machine all the time. I wake up at night, you know, just thinking stuff. Like, oh, oh, four o'clock in the morning is a good time to think of stuff I can't do anything about. Let's do that. My anxiety closet swings open. Okay, it's fun. Anyway, so um, I, uh, I'm older now. This is what happens when you don't die. And uh, yeah, come to find out. Uh, I'm at this period of life called perimenopause, which is the period before actual menopause, where your hormones just go ape crazy all over again. It's exactly like puberty, except with absolutely nothing to look forward to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I get pimples again. Yeah, now they're next to wrinkles. That's cruel. <laughs> oh, and can I tell you this? Nothing makes me feel pretty like my lady whisker. That's fun. Here's the best part about that. I can't see it anymore. So I have to wait for some young person to point it out to me. You know? <laughs> Otherwise, it gets long enough and I find somebody in an elevator. You know, oh, excuse me, sir. I can't see you there. I'm like a cat now with my whisker. I do travel a lot. I, uh, I, do, I work on cruise ships from time to time, which I enjoy. Uh, first of all, ladies, thanks for the pedicures when you go on the cruise ships. And fellas, wow. You got to do something about that. That's just, you know, wow. What are those, toes or sweet potato fries? I'm not sure. I don't, yeah, it's nasty. And, uh, you know, you get, just because you can't see your toes doesn't mean we can't, okay? So he's fat. He can't see his toes. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, my, as I said, I'm, I'm older now. I grew up in the olden days. And, uh, 
yeah, it's a different time now raising children. I'll tell you that. Um, it seems harder to me. I'll be honest. I uh, I see. I, I live by Wash Park, and I I see women. You know, young mothers with the babies. You know, they're jogging behind the, like the double stroller, right? And they got the they got the Bluetooth in. They're working. They're walking the dog at the same time. And I'm thinking, wow, that just looks miserable. I would. <laughs> you should have done it like my mom did. You know, ignore us. That was pretty much. Yeah, my entire childhood. I was I, I was in a playpen until I was seven. I didn't. You know. <laughs> Yeah, no, it was fine. Well, there was like 12 of us, so what was she going to do, you know? I don't know. And, uh, and, and car seats. You have ca Kids have car seats. We didn't have car seats. We rolled around the back like marbles. Nobody cared. <laughs> it's a different time, different time. Anyway, thanks so much. It's been lovely. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Nora.